Hello and welcome back to Robocraft 1 and all to Bay 5, uh, currently titled Raven. I will cover why in just a moment. But whilst I'm uh, starting to build up the foundation for our bot in this episode, I just want to touch on something that a couple of people have brought up. Namely, that I haven't been recording very much Robocraft lately. A few people seem concerned that that means that my interest in Robocraft has waned. Or worse still, that I've flat out stopped playing altogether. I have expressed my, my slight exasperation at the idea that just because I stopped play uh, uploading recordings of a game that uh, it must obviously mean that I have stopped enjoying the game being somewhat akin to uh, someone not having seen a person giving birth ever and thus leaping to the conclusion that all humans must be sterile because obviously if you're not seeing people always walking around pregnant or, or popping out children then that must obviously mean that we are incapable of doing so no I just haven't had time <laughs> For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, you may not be aware that I am in university at the moment and I am currently studying towards my degree in Natural and Artificial Intelligence. As the name probably implies, it's a rather weighty topic, takes a lot of studying to do. So uh, that is why I haven't been recording too much. I've got exams in October and uh, a very large amount of my time has been with my head buried beneath books. Not by my, uh, not, not consensually, you understand. The books kind of assault me. I have called the police, but they don't seem interested. I am very displeased. But once the exams are gone in October, you will probably see me getting back to my regular uploads. At the moment, I am focusing on games that are a little bit easier to record than Robocraft, which does tend to take a little bit of grinding to get money together to be able to build something, and also a little bit more thinking involved in actually just flat out playing it. Now, with all that said and done, and given that I've already put the rudders on there, you can no doubt tell that I am building an aircraft. It is not the Icom in Peace Mark IV. That is still in the uh, hangar waiting for its its opportunity to debut but i have been playing a lot with the mjolnir heavy weapons satellite recently and i've come to certain realizations chief among them is that the moment well any other flies kind of make me worried but whereas if i see a bomber or even a railgun satellite I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll try and tangle with it. If I see an interceptor, my instinct is just to say nope and run away. That is not good for two reasons. One, it makes me feel bad. But two, I think it, 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 it shows that I have a comfort zone that I am unwilling to leave. And that is a very bad place to be. I don't like having that so, sort of thing hanging over me. I prefer to be able to throw myself into any situation, regardless of how common I have found myself there in the past. So, I've decided one of the best ways to curing me of my fear of interceptors is to learn how they fight. That way I will be better equipped to fight them. You know, mind of my enemy and all that kind of thing. Gotta get inside their head, know where they're likely to go, know what they're likely to try and do in any particular situation. The best way of doing that is to become like them for a little while. So, with that said, we are building an interceptor of our own. Now, I've, I'm just more or less just going through the motions of building a flyer at the moment. I really don't know what is going to make a good interceptor. And that's kind of why I'm doing this. I need to find out what makes a good interceptor and what makes a bad one. And what makes a good interceptor turn into a bad one. What are the triggers that I can uh, prey on? I need to be able to make them afraid, damn it. Right. Now, we are going to need a lot of thrust for this. Unfortunately, I don't have tier 6 thrusters. They would be my first choice. Simply because I don't like bringing in very high level components to a bot. But, I'm not going to be going for tier 4. I have grown to dislike the idea of playing with components that are un not available to someone who's newly entered that tier. I don't mind bringing in higher versions of a component. So, for example, if you've unlocked a, a SMG uh, Tier 6 at Tier 5, because that's when you'd be able to unlock it, I wouldn't mind bringing a Tier 7. I wouldn't even really particularly mind bringing a Tier 8, as long as it wasn't a gun bed of Tier 8 guns. But 
that's because they've already got an SMG, so all I'm doing is just, you know, using the fact that I've played more and I've ground up to get the technology to unlock those things, you know. I don't want to uh, not be able to play with my new toys. One thing I don't like, though, is taking technology to a fight that other people who've only just entered that tier couldn't have. So, for example, rudders and aerofoils. You can't get them outside of tier 5. That's the earliest point that you're going to be able to unlock these. So, I am going to go for tier 5, and that's why we're using the tier 7 thrusters there. Uh, in fact, maybe I could use the tier 8s. Let me have a quick look, because I am going to need a lot of thrust on this. Ooh, that is very expensive. I mean, I guess I understand. Uh, it's a little bit too expensive. No, we're going to go with uh, two tier 7s. We'll then possibly pack a couple of tier 5s around it. There we go. That should give me enough thrust to uh, get me moving fast enough to properly uh, bring the pain to my enemies. Hopefully. Probably not, but uh, we are going to do our best, damn it. Now... Obviously, for an interceptor, taking plasmas not really what you you want to be doing. Taking rails, I have seen some rail um, interceptors, but I'm not a huge fan. I've got to be honest. I am much more for SMGs for the interceptor role, and I noticed that my SMGs are probably on a different bot. Are they on you, Solon officers in Wichter? Ah, yes, there they are. Let me. Uh, Relieve you of your heavy burden of high-tier technology. Sorry about this. I keep doing this to you. you. You must be getting sick and tired of every time I have a new new bot in my life, I, I take all of your toys away. I'm a terrible bot master. I really am. Okay, we'll have a tier 7 there. As I said, I don't mind bringing high-level SMGs to a fight because SMGs tend to have been around for a long time. I do start to draw the line when you... In a tier 5 fight and you're bringing tier 10 SMGs, that, that is getting to the point of trolletry there. But uh, I think a tier 7, two tier 6s, and maybe two tier 5s on the bottom, perhaps? Hmm, that might be quite nice. However, I would like to have shields at the bottom. Now, I'm making all of these plans. I don't even know if this thing can fly yet, so perhaps we should test that. Let's uh, put on some tier 5 thrusters. In fact... I really like the shape of that. Let, let's go and see if I can afford to buy two more tier 5 thrusters. I can afford to buy them, so I'm going to buy them. Ah, gloriousness. Now, I'm not going to be able to afford to buy anything else, so I hope I haven't just scuppered our plans there, but uh, there we go. We have got an awful lot of uh, thrust behind our plane now. Well, actually, about the middle. Not quite behind it. Also, I think, given that, I'm going to pull down my rudders slightly. No, nope, go away. Let's get you... Uh, yeah, we'll put you there. Okay, that should be good enough. Now, I'm going to need a little bit of steering still. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. But for now, we'll just uh, add these to the sides there. To try and help me be able to turn. We'll just see how much weight this has. In fact, let me uh, put on the other two guns and we'll just see how much firepower this can, can bring to a fight. I could put a tier 6 down there, actually. Hmm. One tier 6, maybe? Oh, I am kind of liking the idea of that. That would bring a lot of firepower to the, the, the fight. I am pr If I do this, I'm almost certainly not going to be able to equip shields at the front. And that is going to be a little bit of a problem. So I'm, I'm probably not going to go with the design, but for the sake of balancing out the weight and just uh, seeing if this thing can even fly, let's try this. Let, let's, let's go for a, for a quick spin in the practice arena. Now then, how is this going to do? Let us take off straight away. No? Yes. No? Maybe? Uh, it's quite fast. How high can this climb with that much thrust behind it? Hopefully, quite quite high because we're gonna need to be fairly high up I want to be able to uh, sneak down and uh, catch our satellite prey unawares so we need to be higher than the satellites for that how much higher can we go I think we're leveling out yes we've uh, lost the ability to thrust okay uh, thrust up what that is lost the ability to thrust that could be taken the wrong way right so that is our ceiling it not quite as high as I would have liked but uh, still this little bot is doing quite well. I think I will move the thrusters, though. 
I like that configuration. It's, it's almost like the uh, asparagus system for uh, Kerbal Space Program. But I think I'm going to move the uh, tier 5 thrusters forward slightly. So we're going to have to uh, slightly change the design there. But it at least flies. At the very least, we have a flying flyer. And that is a good start for any flyer, in my opinion. Of course, we could uh, do dive bombing. Uh, I'm not sure I would want to do that. I wouldn't really want to be fighting ground targets too much on the whole. This is more built for taking on air targets. But with the amount of firepower we have, we can probably give even ground targets something to worry about. Okay, let's uh, jump out. Now, you will notice I'm not building this out of particularly high level armor. And while that is an unfortunate fact of life, I just don't have enough... Uh, RP to buy enough high-level armor. I could take apart the Mjolnir satellite, but I really like the Mjolnir satellite. It is a tier 6 bot that consistently wins. That pretty much means it's a license to print money in this game. So uh, the Mjolnir satellite is going to be staying around for quite some time. Now, let's... Uh, you know what? We could probably just chuck in some thrusters for me to be able to control the direction I'm flying here instead. That would be quite nice. There we go. Now, the next thing I want to try and, as I mentioned, move these forward. And we can afford to do that, so let's try. I guess with this, it isn't really serving any particular purpose. It's just for aesthetics at this point. The only thing I could say is that... Ooh, actually, let me just take that back a moment. Could I anchor a shield to that, maybe? Because I don't have my high, high tier shield, but I do have some that I could equip. I could. Ooh. That might be worth doing. In fact, I could probably pull that in a little bit. Let me just have another look. Oh, that, that wouldn't work too well. It would cut in there. I could perhaps have it come down a little bit further and have a shield protecting the front. Ooh, dear me. I think I will, actually. Let's see if I can't get a shield to protect my guns at the front here. We'll take that away. Build that out a little bit. Uh, right. Let's see what we can do. Where could a shield fit there? We would lose our tier 6 gun. That's fine. Alright, we want to bring that down a little bit sooner. Okay. So, something like this, perhaps? Would this more or less cover the, the bottom? It would. Ooh, that's actually worth doing, in my opinion. Let's uh, do that on the other side as well. Don't oh, damn it. Oh, I see. All right, there we are. And bring that down. And have the other part of this pair down there. Now, the unfortunate thing is we have lost our guns here. But I can bring this out. A little bit further. Uh, where's our tier fives? We need it one more, I think, and we can fit the tier fives at the bottom. There. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Well, that isn't as bad. I am happy to go out there with just five guns instead of six. It doesn't actually lose that much firepower. Uh, sorry, uh, rate of fire that we have traded one of the tier sixes, which is not a good trade to make if. I'm perfectly honest with you. I wonder, could we perhaps fit it back here somewhere? No, it's it's far too big a weapon really for that. Maybe if I had the uh, front coming out a little bit further we could, but for now, how about we just go with... You know what, I could just bring this forward to about there and tie that off and place the tier 4 gun Actually, the T4 gun could go there. Oh, fantastic. We'll do that. Oops, that's not quite the way I wanted you to point. Damn it. There we go. Okay, we're back up to uh, full fire rate. In fact, I can place that there just for that little bit of extra pow. Now, those shields are actually in a decent position, and I can still move the thrusters forward, and I quite like that idea. So let's uh, do that on this side as well. And then we'll see how this has affected the balance, because it will have. And we just have to hope that it hasn't affected the balance too badly. That would 
massively negatively affect our ability to fly, having one of our main thrusters pointing in the wrong direction. So let's not do that, shall we? Yes. Now, ooh, that, that pushes us into tier 6, though. Hmm. I'm not liking that. How about we lose that gun? That is a tier 7 gun. We could get away with just having a tier 6 there. Yes, that works. Okay. And that makes me feel a little bit better about not taking overpowered weapons into a fight. Glorious. All things have worked out well. Well, more or less. We don't know if they've actually worked out well yet. We have yet to test our craft. Now, what I would like is to have the ability to fly up or down augmented by these thrusters at the front there. That should help quite a lot. We'll then flesh this out a little bit more with some extra ability to turn. Okay. I'm actually really starting to like this. Hmm. The thing is, though, what about back here? Could I get some more shields? Is the question that is burning my mind right now. I could have shields there, like that, but that's not quite what I want. Is that the same one? No. If I move that rudder up, I might actually be able to do it. Let's see. If I move these rudders up like this, but I have a second pair of shields, of these high tier shields, I could. That would actually protect our tail from attacks while I fly over a target. It doesn't do anything to protect these, though, and that is a little bit of a shame. I could perhaps help with that with some tier 3 shields, but ah, wait, this pushes me into tier 6. So scrap that idea. Uh, I could have these to, to help a little bit. They would protect my rudders only, though. But maybe that's all I really need to protect right now. They are fairly vulnerable, after all. Uh, but if we have those a little bit higher up, it does give them a little bit more protection. In fact, I can add even more protection on top by doing that. It doesn't it doesn't look like much, but it does actually seem to help quite a lot in my uh, testing of previous flyers and the icon in peace. That little lip there does seem to actually make quite a bit of difference. We'll also tag that off there. Oh, no, that's facing the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Now then. Is this going to be able to fly? Is this even going to be able to work in the tier that we're about to take it to? These are very important questions that I just don't have an answer to. I could even put more guns on the back if I absolutely wanted to. I think that might be stupid, though. <laughs> I think it could definitely be stupid. Uh, I could... See, am I just adding things for the sake of adding them now? That is always a concern. Uh, I really would quite like to try and get some extra shielding on here, though. Let's do this and see if I can get a little bit of extra shielding. No, it, it really just, it just clips them. That is quite unfortunate. Okay. Well, we could perhaps... I can't think of any way we could get the uh, tier 3 shields around unless... Actually, no. Strike that. I do think there may be a way. If we build this down to about there, we may be able to hook the tier 3 shields up and around like that. It's whether this is going to push us right over the edge into tier 6. No, it doesn't. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And how about here? Am I pushing my luck now? I almost certainly am, but I'm going to keep doing it until it tells me I'm in tier 6. Ah, <laughs> damn it! You told me I was in tier 6 a little bit too early. Stupid game. Um, we could perhaps fix that just a tad by doing... Oh, what, can we, what can we pull off? We might be able to do it... There we go, back into tier 5. And all of our gun... Well, most of our guns are now on the top. And we've got a fairly heavily shielded undercarriage. Though that is pretty bad. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really disliking the aesthetics here. But uh, hopefully, functionally, this is awesome. 
I question that though, because the the I I feel that the main thing that you want on an interceptor is speed, and right now, this is just mostly got guns. Well, I guess it got a little bit of speed, but uh, no, I I'm gonna take that away for purely aesthetic reasons. It looks terrible. However. I will leave that there, I think, because uh, it will help us a little bit in preventing us from getting uh, shot down, perhaps. And we can even get a radar. Only a low-level radar there. Now the question is, can I get this in anywhere? Is there anywhere I can put this now? Ooh. Perhaps on this little surface. There's one. Can I have another? Oh, that's fantastic. I'm liking that. I can maybe even have a third. Now, the thing with, uh, I believe that radar jammers actually benefit from being stacked. You know what? If I ha actually had the room, maybe I could even fit one of these. No, I don't know what, what I, cloud I was living on there, but that will never fit. Not in a million years. I will, however, put this just in case I get grounded. Oop, damn it. So many fend invites. Right, okay, let's go and uh, see how this goes. And yes, that is pretty much how it always is when I'm playing. It's usually a little bit worse. It's just I've uh, learned to record Robocraft in the middle of the night to lessen the amount of people who are going to be up and uh, able to invite me. Now, I've got an awful lot of shielding there, but my speed has been dramatically reduced, I feel. That could be a bad thing. It might not matter. I don't know. I mean, we're right on the edge of tier 5. How much more can we climb? Can we continue to climb? Let's pull down just slightly. Just slightly. Don't don't try to climb too much. No, we're drifting sideways now rather than up. Okay, we've, we've reached our height limit, but we are still clearly visible to everything on the ground. But we can turn more or less instantly. That's fantastic. I like that. That is really important for an interceptor, I feel. The ability to quickly change direction. And we can also dive on our enemies, which is uh, pretty nice. Not bad at all. I mean, obviously these guys are not much of a, a threat. So we would have to stay here for far too long. And sorry for the uh, pausing there. <laughs> the game is loading in more AI bots. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to take this out. Now, considering how close we are to tier 6, if I were to upgrade this armor, it would push us into tier 6. But honestly, I wouldn't mind being there if I had armor that could take it. Um, these are tier 5 shields, I believe. Tier 3, tier 4. It's not a particularly good spread of shields. I could lose these shields, for example, and then upgrade the armor blocks, maybe. I'm not sure. But let's go to cosmetic, because we're not going to fly without flying the colors. It's not going to happen. It wouldn't work. Trust me, we'd crash and burn. It's physics at work there. Right, let's uh, find a spot for you. Yeah, that actually is as good as anywhere else. You go there. Right, now, vapor trails, obviously. This is a flyer. I mean, come on. Uh, but where on earth am I going to find... Oh, ha-ha! Fantastic! I approve that worked out well, even though I didn't really plan it at all. I'm not going to have anywhere to put this. And putting them on, on ooh, wow, spazzing out there. Putting them on, uh, wow, you really are just breaking. You're, uh, stop, it's witchcraft, frightens me. But I think our little flyer is uh, now ready to take to the skies. And perhaps, perhaps earn a place in my permanent collection of bots. The I Come In Peace, Mark IV. The Mjolnir. The Monkey Lord, Mark II. The Solenopsis Invicta, Mark... Mark what? Mark II. Probably Mark III, actually. And the Raven. And the Raven is so named because of XCOM. Anyone who's watching my XCOM Let's Play will know that the basic interceptors are called Ravens by default. And then later on, you get the Firestorms, which are alien um, researched interceptors, which are called Demons. Now, as much as you are actually quite impressive, you're, you're much better than I was expecting, though I haven't seen you fight yet, I don't think you're worthy of the name Demon yet. Yeah, I mean, you've got every opportunity to prove me wrong, little bot. 
But we're going to take you out now. And if you do really well, then I will grind up the money necessary to give you proper armor. And maybe you will end up living in tier 6. Maybe you'll actually replace the Mjolnir, because the Mjolnir is ready to move into tier 7. Okay, right. I'm going to go and find us a fight, and I will bring you back when we've got one. And welcome back. We are fighting against the likes of the Battle Fortress. And, uh, well, other people as well. Um... We're also fighting alongside other people as well. I we failed at reading the names that time around. I do apologize, everyone. Please don't hold it against me. Also, that satellite actually looks kind of cool. Is it just made of helium? Perhaps? Oh my lord. That is an interesting looking satellite. It looks like some sort of crazy sky jellyfish with the, the railgun tentacles. My lord. I like it. The, the, the kind of pulsing... Effect of the shields, yes, yeah, definitely a sky jellyfish. I've been spotted already. What? Oh dear. I was uh, paying a bit too much attention to the sky jellyfish, it seems. I'm going to lie low for now. Uh, well, not quite that low. That would be a bit crazy for me to try and do. And hello, I'm going to help with the fight here. Even though I'm not really built for it. Oh, as evidenced by the fact I crashed straight away. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. It's a little bit hot for me. And let's instead go and take out that interceptor. Ah, if we can actually not crash. Hello. I would like to fight you. Please allow me to destroy you utterly. No? Uh, I guess I understand. And now I'm going to attack again. No. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to have a, a run-up. Oh, no. A bomber is trying to steal my kill. Oh. <gasps> You swines! That was just not dapper! Not dapper at all! Oh well. Hello! Hopefully I did a little bit of damage there. Uh, I'm not sure if I did. But uh, I hope I did a tiny, tiny bit. He's looking for me now, so I best uh, steer clear of letting him get a bead on me. Hello! I'll try and do some damage to you. Not a lot, unfortunately, but I can move around and come in for another attack. Nothing else. I'm pretty uh, spry. Right, I'm going to come back around once again. I'm not sure what kind of position I've left you there. It's a real gunner. And he's gone. Damn it, everyone is stealing my kills. It's a terrible day. No kills for Avak, even though he's getting so excited. And I feel really enthusiastic about every, every person I'm trying to murder, and then someone murders them before me. <sighs> it's just one of those days, really. Still, I'm remarkably impressed with how my little interceptor has been doing. Okay, who's bothering you over here? Where is that scallywag? I see you. Scallywag, you must be punished. There we go. Ooh, I'm getting plinked off by something. Where is it coming from? I can't tell. I really don't know, so I'm going to seek refuge. Oh, no, it's above me, I'm fairly certain. Where are you? I see you now. I'm coming for you. Scallywag. They're all scallywags on the enemy team today. Right, I'm not flying as well as I would like. But uh, I'm getting a few hits. Hopefully, I'm going to make it a little bit better for my allies to take this person on. Oh, there we go. One of the shields is down, perhaps. I've got to try and actually hit. Wow, he looks... Another sky jellyfish. And we win. Oh, well. That battle could have gone a little bit better, but I'm actually remarkably impressed with how my little interceptor handled. I feel that uh, what failed us there was my lack of familiarity with playing an interceptor. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with how we actually did. We didn't take too much damage. We had a very low repair cost. We got a decent amount of RP back. We did a lot of damage to the enemy. We didn't get any kills, unfortunately. But we, we did... I think if, if my teammates hadn't been as efficient as they had been, I would have gotten some kills. I, I don't think we would have been killed before getting at least one or two. So on the whole, yes, I think I'm going to keep you, little raven. I like you. I will have to upgrade your armor, and I may tweak a couple of uh, placements of thrusters and that sort of thing, and, and definitely upgrade the guns as time goes on. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing you 
in tier 6 and I'm I'm liking that idea of having an actual interceptor. Now it is going to take a lot of time for me to get used to flying an interceptor and by all means if you tend to fly interceptors yourself and have any words of wisdom to share please do in the comment section below. Tell me uh, if I've put anything where I shouldn't have or just if there are any particular tips or tricks. It will uh, help me get used to flying an interceptor that a little bit faster and perhaps we'll see some epic uh, Robocraft streaming once streaming is fixed. And that is the last thing I want to touch on before I uh, wrap up this episode. I have decided that I'm going to hold off on streaming Robocraft for the immediate future just until the devs have managed to fix the lag that happens when I get a lot of friend invites. Um, ideally what I'm looking for right now is some toggle that I can just turn on and off when I'm entering a stream that will just auto reject friend invites, auto reject platoon invites and won't bother me or pull me out of game queues or cause any lag because there are 80 to 100 people in my pending friend um, request because I don't just want to stream me declining everyone because that's all the stream would be otherwise. So uh, yes, a hold on Robocraft streaming, but the Robocraft videos shall continue just at a slower rate until uh, about mid-October. But they will be coming out every now and then and perhaps we'll even see more of the Raven in the near future. But for now, and as always... Do take care. Okay.